Hey, y'all. How y'all doing? The time is now 3.36 a.m., Monday, April 1st. And they say it's 2024. They say it's April Fool's Day. That's what they say, y'all. But it won't be no fools on you. Do you hear me? Okay. The message I got is feed 544. And that's the download that was given to me as I was awakening out of my sleep. Okay. Now, for a while, I didn't even realize what fee 544 was at, out besides when Nate Jackson said it's a comedian that I follow. I had completely forgot. That fee five four five was something that the giant said in Jack and the Beanstalk. So I had to sit in that. I had to sit in that download. And I've been sitting in this download. And I've been trying to record videos on this download. And they just not coming out right. <laughs> I am not lying. So very much, very much distraction. You know, but I just want you to know that on this day. There will not be any distraction in your way. Okay? Because um, as I sat in the download that the Holy Spirit had gave to get these damn. How I knocked his ass out? As I sat in the download that the Holy Spirit had given to me, I began to want to know why, why, why am I being given Jack and the Beanie stock? Right? And you can somewhat say that Jack and the Beanstalk is a metaphor. The whole thing is metaphoric. It's somewhat figurative and can be symbolic to someone. In, in somewhat like God's expression of the way things should be done in order to reach the highest pentacle. And that highest pentacle is him. And I'm saying him. You know, and I know that God is a spirit and, you know, it's really no um, gender put on God. I know that, but, you know, a system, I have, I have been taught a system and it's just, it just flows with him just flows because that's what we've been taught. So I, but I do understand. So don't take offense if I say him, you know, but God, the spirit of God, okay. Is the highest pentacle. So you take Jack, you know, someone who who wants the finer things in life. Someone who wants to understand their purpose here. They don't want to be poor anymore. You know, they want to be able to explore beyond their limitations. That's you. You're Jack. So Jack goes and he trades. His family heirloom, which is a cow. That's how his family makes money through this cow, right? For a handful of magic beans. Because Jack wants to create a new life for himself and his family. But when Jack gets these magic beans, these magic beans don't do what he thinks they're going to do. These magic beans create a beanstalk. A beanstalk that grows beyond the clouds. And what does Jack do? He steps back. He looks. And he begins to climb the beanstalk. And, as he, and that's you. You're climbing the beanstalk, the beanstalk of knowledge, wisdom, understanding, and stature. That's your beanstalk. And as you get to the top, you will experience a castle. And you say, What is this? You know, I'm I'm learning. 
Is this my castle? Is this the magic that these beings have given me? Me and my family can live in something like this? And you experience a man-eating giant. Those magic beans are replicate of your faith. Of you wanting to overcome the seeds that have been planted against you. Jack and the Beanstalk. Let's see what this is. Oh, she did. Damn. Mm. We got work. Um, a couple of summers ago, I had the uh, fortunate experience of um, seeing how a beekeeper takes down the beehive attached to the queen bee. Oh, it was a wonderful experience, y'all. Like, I recorded the whole thing, and I know I don't have the recording anymore. Because I remember I had uploaded the recording so I could forever keep it too. But we're not even going to talk about that part. Y'all, can somebody please tell me what the fuck to do to get rid of these gnats? Because I've done vinegar. I've done pine saw. Like, I don't know what else to do. And I've done just pure white vinegar. Not no apple cider or nothing. And pine saw. Anyways, yeah. Distractions, distractions, distractions. I was fortunate enough to even get a piece of the honeycomb. And y'all, I've never tasted something so fragrant before like it's a wonderful thing it's nothing like the um the honey we get from the store and so god is letting me know that what you're about to experience is nothing that the physical realm can give you this is all natural this is all from heaven this your beanstalk is about to reach your pentacle. What is this? Work. Let's do some more. Yeah. Love. Love. It's something you love. You. It's something you are enjoying. It's something. I'm, I'm hearing you're the queen. I'm hearing you're the queen. And spiritually, you have these little bees working for you. Because that's what they do. They, the bees, they, um, what do you call it, y'all? They protect the queen bee. Oh, it's a lot of them, y'all. And she be deep down in there. And that's what's happening right now. You're being protected by your spiritual workers. Your spiritual bee workers. 
You're being protected. I'm hearing you are greatly loved in the spirit. But I'm also hearing there's something that you love to do. Why, why are you being protected? Your creativity, I'm telling you, it's something that you love to do. And your creativity is being protected right now by, by these little spiritual bee workers. It's how I'm seeing it. Even though I know it's something greater than a bee. <laughs> what I'm just saying. That's how the spirit is showing it to me. Like you're the queen bee and you're being protected because it, it has to be a reason why I brought up that B story. Not just because I seen the B on here, but I don't tell nobody about that story, but I but I did. I got a chance. I mean, it was the best three, four hours of my life. Y'all, I'm not gonna be able to handle these nets. I'm gonna probably get off of here because they just I just cleaned the wall. They is going crazy. And I just cannot handle it. I'm not lying. I can't handle it. Like, I'm a real clean person, and I just don't like these damn gnats, and I don't know what the fuck to do to get rid of them. And it's driving me crazy. You know, maybe I'll put some alcohol on them or something. Maybe that'll... I got a one alcohol wipe left. I'll have to get some more of these today. Maybe I can do that. That's the only thing I can think of. Because I, I just don't know what to do. But I, I just can't stand them. And they, they pop. I don't know what. And they all went out. Um, when I um, burn um, sage. They pop, they come like I don't know if the stage is sticking to the wall, and I'm cleaning them, so I just don't know what's going on. But it's irritating the fuck out of me. God damn. <sighs> Anyways, it's something that's being protected. You know what I'm saying? And it's so many distractions have been trying to come your way to take you off of this path. It's something that you love to do, and it's like a work that you were called to do. It's, I don't know what that is. You get what I'm saying? Some of you could create, you could be creators. I don't know why I've been picking up on creators a lot, but you could be a creator. And not only that, any type of content creator, you could read tarot, you could do nails, do makeup, do hair, cook, you know, anything. Y'all, I ain't gonna lie. It's somebody, death is upon somebody. I just had to say that because... It's been tearing me up. I don't know who that is for. But whoever, somebody you know, somebody that's, child, you don't, you call judgment. And now death is upon somebody. And their death is going to bring you peace. Their, the spell, the spells will be completely broken off your life once this person dies. Damn. Damn. Okay, but yeah, it's just something that you love to do, some form of work that you were called to do, that you were born to do, and it's being protected. Your creativity is being protected, and I'm hearing like, you know, like these little invisible spirit bees, like you're the queen bee, and they're like protecting anybody, come fuck with you, they sting in their ass, zoom, 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 and them things hurt. Whew. And there'd be a lot of them, not just one of them. One of them will warn. Like, hey, you might want to stay away from her. So let me just send you a little, little prick. You get what I'm saying? But baby, if they come forward. All of them coming. And they ripping some assholes open. With them stains. This one on here. Let me finish this out. 
a lot of people you inspire. Somebody mad you inspiring people. You could have started a podcast. Five of Swords, I knew it. I knew it. Somebody, whoever you being protected from is somebody that's in competition with your ass. Because they're intimidated by you. And nothing they do will succeed. I don't care if they copy you. If they copy your ideas and try to beat you to them. Nothing they do will succeed. It will stay minimal. You also could be having some form of disputes at work because someone feels intimidated by you. So there could be a little hostility there. But you don't got to worry about that. That's protected. Your job is protected. This is, um, I'm here not for all of you. I released a, it was real specific about somebody who works at Walmart. That was like, what? The four wands. Also, there is um a mate coming in that could be, that um could very well be be being protected too. So that this person can find you without any harm. Because whoever is behind the scenes want to kill y'all both. They really want to kill you. They been want to take you out. They, I mean, they been trying. And they can't. And I'm hearing that they will go to the death of them trying to bring a death to you. Man, there is definitely some form of conflict going on at your job. And not only that, somebody is wanting you to walk the fuck away from what you love to do. So they could be creating conflict on purpose. This is within the job. Like I said, I'm hearing that's not for all of you. And then on the other flip side, I'm hearing for some of you, there's somebody in the background doing moon magic. To make you walk away. From things that you love, things that you desire, people that you love, and people that you desire to have in your life. They do a moon magic to make these people walk away from you also. To make there be aggression and conflict and disputes around those relationships. Somebody don't like what you do for work. Somebody don't like what you do, what you just love to do. It ain't even work, though, is what I'm hearing. It's just, it's like what you were called to do. Somebody don't like what you were called to do, and it ain't none of their motherfucking business. You get what I'm saying? Worry about your own purpose. Somebody don't like the fact that you can create a lot. Somebody don't like this shit. This energy is so fucking lame, and I'm so tired of picking up on it, but it's just... For real, I'm tired of picking up on this shit. God damn. 
Because it's lame as fuck. These bitches is out here lame as fuck. These men out here that do this shit too, they lame. Real tall. The hierophant. Okay, so I'm telling y'all right now. Somebody one somebody on here, you got a podcast which you speak, or somebody you want well, somebody could you teach something. That's all I know. You teaching something. You teaching, you could read tarot. I don't know, but you teaching something, and I'm definitely hearing a podcast though. I don't know. You teaching something though, and that's for real. And somebody don't like what that you bringing people into enlightenment. You helping people get success and victory within their spiritual uh, mindset. And they want to keep you stuck. Ooh, look at this. This is what they want to bring to you. They want to bring towers in your life. They want to make you give the fuck up. Because of something that you're doing, you're teaching, you're, you're bringing people into enlightenment. You're for real. And I'm hearing that God is pleased and these people don't like that shit. They want you to be doing bad. They want you to be a, a dethroned queen. Y'all heard what I said. Listen now, earlier in the video, I said that I had the fortunate experience it was a beautiful experience to see a bee catcher harvest all these bees just to get to the queen bee and i and i got a piece of honeycomb and i still have that honeycomb i still have that piece of honeycomb i keep and it's in my refrigerator and i'm it's gonna go in inside of my wedding cake when i get married here soon i'll give y'all the date soon okay So, hmm, listen, they, they, these people wanted you to be a dethroned queen. So basically that bee catcher was dethroning, was about to dethrone the queen in the, in the secret little bee catcher, not secret, but in the bee catcher's um little private thing he went to wherever he went to to take this bee to he has he has his own little office or whatever it's called beehive place whatever so that's what they wanted for you they wanted you to be they wanted you to be dethroned they wanted god to dethrone you they wanted you to have chaos and trauma and shit in your life because then it would have proved that everything that they've always said about you, you get what I'm saying, was true. And it's not. You ain't doing nothing but elevating and getting better. You getting better and better and better. You ain't nothing bad happening. And they like, what the fuck? You see what I'm saying? This could also be, um, man, I'm, this is a lot of people wishing bad. A lot. A lot of energies I'm picking up on. Somebody could somebody lives by a swamp. I'm hearing. I don't know what was that, but or this somebody could be doing magic at, in a swamp. They go to a swamp, <gasps> y'all. What I said. Remember I told you that moon magic, and then the swamp, and then look at the bottom of the deck. I told you they go to they go to a swamp to do moon magic. They go to the swamp to do moon. This could be an ex lover or yours. I picked up on it, but I shut up and I just said it just was a lot of energy. But damn well can be an ex lover just as well. FYI.
wanted you to be dethroned. And the love ain't even had to be in this lifetime. I'm hearing this is a past lifetime. Y'all never got together in this lifetime. This person, this person wants you to walk away from this community that, that is gathering around you. This community that is finding whatever you're saying, whatever you're doing, they finding it therapeutic. And they want you to abandon that shit. They want to, they causing some type of conflict within that community to abandon. To so so the community so you can abandon the community or the community will abandon you. It's one or the other. Somebody love playing dumb nose. This person be doing magic at a fucking swamp on an empress. Yeah, this king of pentacles. Be doing magic on you. A lot of it too. With this um, eight of wands. He does a lot of it. Like he just, he does a lot of it. This king of pentacles has been doing magic on you. Empress. He sure has. And does a lot of it. Do you hear me? In a swamp. Somebody, that ain't for everybody either, okay? Fuck is this King of Pentacles? Who is this? Who is this King of Pentacles? An ex-lover. It's an ex-lover. Is this in this lifetime? This somebody you possibly could have turned your back on. Mm. With the Knight of um, Wands. You did. This somebody you turned your back on. This somebody you didn't consider as a hero to you anymore. This somebody you you just want to be free of this person. Yeah. He didn't like the fact that you have become so com confident within yourself. He don't like that. This person could have gratefully um, verbally abused you. Tried to change who you were. This person tried to change your social dynamics just as well. How charismatic and passionate you were about shit. But you just got these fucking protectors on you. That, I don't know, this person is magic in the swamp. And you possibly could have known that. I don't know what the fuck this is. Five of Wands and the Ace of Swords at the bottom of the deck. God let me know. Whatever I'm saying, I'm telling the damn truth. I'm seeing the truth. This person could have been real. Y'all, I am not lying. Yeah, this person. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this this is an ex. This is an ex in this lifetime, too. That's for some of you. Okay, this is somebody who you did turn your back on. This is somebody who you could have divorced. And this motherfucker is mad. You get what I'm saying? Like, he feel like you fucked your, he, 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 you fucked his life up is somebody that you had to just protect your spirituality from I don't know maybe maybe you got tired of or I'm hearing you got tired of doing magic against people with this person I just gotta say it I'm hearing you got tired of doing magic with this person against people and you were ready to change your ways. And it happened. This person is mad that you walked away from those practices of destroying other people's lives.
her. I don't know what to say about this. But this person is very upset. That you walked away from this practice of destroying other people's lives. And you have decided to enter into a, a, a practice. Um, <laughs> oh my God. That will, you know, lead people into, you know, a victory. Lead people into a victory, a success in their mental state of mind. And that's what you have always been called to do. Is help people see the truth. Jack and the Beanstalk. You're Jack. And you may have entered into this. Dynamic with this person. But I'm definitely here. Y'all are soulmates, but I've been together many lifetimes. And for some, of, for some of you, I'm hearing that you, you you didn't make it this lifetime together, but this person decided to attack you anyway. This person decided to attack you anyway, even though you weren't with this person. Okay, I'm gonna leave it here. I hope this message brings some form of clarity.